Today I'm going to show you how to make a Diet Cola like Diet Coke or Diet Pepsi and you can control all the variables so you can make it all natural preservative free if you want because doing it yourself allows you to control this. All the flavors in today's recipe are all natural essential oils. The sugar, I'm using sucralose today but you can use stevia, monk fruit or any other high intensity sweetener. And once you make the syrup, you can just use a soda stream or other type of carbonator to add the syrup to and make it. It's gonna cost you about five cents per serving, much cheaper than buying it in the can. And again, you control all the variables. So if you want caffeine free, just skip the caffeine. If you want it preservative free, you just have to store the syrup in the fridge. And the recipe today, we're gonna to make much like the Coca-Cola formula or the cola formula I made in the previous video is gonna make six liters. The syrup will make enough for six liters. So if you go through a liter or two a week, it'll last you know, one to three weeks, depending on how much you drink. And there is nothing in this formula that is difficult to get. Everything's available online, grocery store and or homebrew store. Few notes, I am skipping the phosphoric acid in this one, so it is gonna be all citric acid. And I am using sucralose because I'm basing it off a previous formula I made for a zero calorie simple syrup. And that just kind of will build off of that. But if you're curious to know how you would use something like Truvia, which has stevia and erythritol in it, uh, we can work on that in a future video. Just leave a comment below telling me what you're interested in because cola is something you can do a lot with. There's a lot of room for experimentation. But today is sucralose and allulose. I like allulose because it's not a sugar alcohol. It doesn't cause gastrointestinal problems like some uh, like erythritol and xylitol. Those ones can be a little problematic if you drink too much. I find allulose a good substitute or a good one to work with, though it's not improved in all countries. Usually you just substitute erythritol for that and it comes out decent enough. Now I'm also making a low calorie formula today so I am actually adding some sugar. I find that if you use all artificial sweeteners or high intensity sweeteners, it comes out a little thin. So adding sugar, so I'm gonna use fructose today, just kind of gives it some body and that real sense of sweetness, but it only comes out to 20 calories per serving or 25 calories per serving uh, in that range. We are gonna be adding some glycerin, which brings that calorie count up to about 25, 30, but that adds body and helps act as a solvent, emulsifier, and sometimes as a preservative, though I'm not sure in this case. And simply we're using a cola emulsion. So if you've seen the cola formula I did in the previous video, I'll link here or below. We just use caramel and mix it with essential oils to create this emulsified product that we can just add to simple syrup. In this case, zero calorie or low calorie simple syrup. And I've just modified the formula a little bit. I made another one because I like to experiment. So I've tried Based it off the previous cola recipe, but added a few things and took out a couple things. I will have all that information over on Patreon. So I always put these formula sheets together. If you're just curious how to make a diet cola, uh, feel free to watch. But if you want to actually make one, all the information and the recipe easy to follow instructions are there. And I also provide information on suppliers, the equipment, you know, different sugar levels or different artificial sweeteners you can use or natural ones like stevia. All of that's over on Patreon because this is such a big topic. I can't do it all in one video because it just uses up too much time. That's the introduction. So let me show you how to make it. Now assembling this diet cola is super easy. It's just basically adding a bunch of ingredients into a beaker or in this case, a coffee craft because you don't need all the fancy equipment to do it. I try to use kitchen equipment where applicable just to show you that it doesn't have to be super scientific. It could just be like cooking. Now, the only order that you have to worry about is basically add the citric acid at the end and everything else can go in any order you want to put it in according to the recipe, which I have my little cheat sheet there, but I've pre-weighed things out just to make it quicker. So the first thing I like to do is add the glycerin. So we're gonna add 30 grams of glycerin. We're gonna add it directly in here. The reason I like doing this is because the second ingredient we're gonna add is the emulsion. 
And this stuff is thick and it does have a tendency to cool down and get thicker. So you'll probably, you can use your cola emulsion from the previous video, you can make a new one, whatever you wanna do, but I typically heat it up before I use it just so it's easier to measure. So 30 grams of this, and I went a little over, but that is okay because glycerin isn't really going to affect the flavor much. And it really only comes out to a very small amount in the total of six liters, but you want it to coat the bottom. I'm gonna be much more careful on this step to get only 20 grams in. So 20 grams of flavor emulsion. So 19.94 is plenty. You know, the scale is gonna have a certain amount of error anyway. So that's the first two ingredients. Then I'm gonna add the citrus wood tannins. You can use wine tannins. This is, comes from the how to make a zero calorie simple syrup video. And this is from a Pepsi patent where they added these tannins. So wine tannins, in this case, I'm just using citrus wood. And they do help stop that lingering flavor you can get from high intensity sweeteners like sucralose and other ones. If you don't like that lingering flavor, you can get rid of it or that lingering sweetness, at least make it shorter with tannins. So for this, we're just gonna add three grams. And if you want more information on this, you can go check out that zero calorie video. Uh, it is helpful for all of this, for you to understand exactly what we're doing and why tannins would go into a zero calorie or a low calorie cola. And they do help with taste. I use them more and more. For the record, this is actually the bottle of tannins I made in that video, which is well over a year ago. And it does use the preservative in it and it's still holding. There's, this is water-based and there is no contamination, mold, fermentation or anything going on. So these preservatives do work well. Now I'm gonna add preservatives to this. You do not need to. If you keep your syrup, so when you get your final syrup like this one here, keep it in the fridge and try to go through it in a week or a couple of weeks, week or three. And then that will actually, you'll never have to use preservatives if you don't want to use them. Though if you intend to store this for longer or out on a shelf or not in the fridge, you will need to use these. Or even if you store it in the fridge and you find the shelf life is short, one mil or one gram of this is enough to preserve it. And remember, you're preserving a liter of syrup. So the amount of preservative in your actual final beverage is much smaller because we're only preserving the syrup, not the soda. Gonna add one gram of preservative to this, or one mil. It's all water-based, so it'll come out to about the same. Now that's that. Now we can add our other ingredients. So we don't need the scale for this because I pre-measured it. If you're using a small $20 scale like this, they have a maximum limit, so do weigh out your stuff separately, especially the heavier items like the allulose or erythritol because you'll go beyond the max on that. And then what happens is you will lose track of where you are. So this is 90 grams of fructose. And I'm just using fructose partially experimentally, partially because it's you know a curiosity. You can just use table sugar. This is allulose. So I'm adding 200 grams of allulose. You can use erythritol or another sugar alcohol if you cannot find this. And then I'm gonna add half a gram, so 0 0.5 grams of sucralose. I will, if people have questions, I'll work with stevia. It's a little bit harder uh, because a lot of the liquid drops aren't standardized, so the, the sweetness can vary, but we could try monk fruit and other stuff. But again, like I mentioned in the intro, Tell me what you're interested in in the comments below and I will try to accommodate you. So half a gram of sucralose. Now we're gonna add some water at this point and that's just to get things uh, started to dissolve. We will bring this up to a liter, but we don't need to be accurate at this point because we will be accurate at the end. I usually stir it a little bit just to get things going because uh, we will put a magnetic stirrer in this to. Uh, dissolve everything, but you'll see that it comes together pretty quickly. 
Now the recipe does call for some acetic acid, which is just household vinegar, 4% acetic acid. I'm just gonna add it by volume. So just got a disposable pipette here and I'm gonna add, well, that's three, and then I'll add two more. And that's that for the first acid. So we can stir that in. And I will move this to the stir plate. This is the syrup that I just finished. So we will try this one, but we'll get this one stirring. Uh, you don't need heat to get it stirring, but you do need a magnetic stirrer and get it. You want it vortexing and you can add more water at this point because we've basically put all the ingredients in other than the citric acid. Uh, there's no need to rinse anything. All the dry ingredients generally come out. You're always gonna have a little residual, but it's no big deal. But basically that is it. And just get this stirring until all the sugar is dissolved. And then we're gonna add a little more water, the acid, get the acid dissolved. And then we're gonna top up to the one liter mark and we will be done making a syrup. That is how easy it is. So at this point, I'm just gonna add more distilled water. You can use tap water. But basically we're just gonna get it, we're not bringing it up exactly to the one liter mark, though you can. We're just gonna bring it up close. I'm gonna turn up the stirring a bit, make sure I get good vortexing so it pulls down anything that's floating on the top to the bottom. And now I am going to add the citric acid. So 15 grams of citric acid, that's it. Now you can just let this stir for, you know, five minutes. Make sure all the sugars and everything is well combined and you want really good vortexing. You wanna kinda turn this and then we'll let this spin for five minutes. We're gonna put this in here. I'll bring it up to exactly the one liter mark and we should be good. So let's give this a try. I'm just going to try this syrup. It's basically the same one as that one. I just made it earlier to do some testing. I'm just transferring a little bit to a beaker. It's easier to work with a jigger than pouring out of this, but you can always transfer to a nice bottle with a good pouring spout. So the first thing to do is put some soda water into your glass. I don't always top up, I'll top up at the end, but you wanna leave a little room for foam. And then just like the Coca-Cola or the cola formula, we're gonna add two ounces. That's typically what they were. And then just top up with a little bit of soda water. And that is a Diet Cola. Let's try it out. Now that is pretty good. You know, it's, uh, the one thing the citric acid does is you really get a little bit more lime flavor or that citrus flavor tends to come out. Again, phosphoric acid has a really drying and changes the flavor of things. But this is good. If you like the flavor of citrus or lime, uh, I find the limes really coming out on this. So I did use a new bottle of lime oil, so that could be helpful. But yeah, I would drink that. It's not super sweet. You're not getting that cloying sweetness you would from a, a regular cola. It's a lot more subdued. A lot of flavor in there. No bad aftertaste. Now, I'd say this is a winner to tell you the truth. And then again, what I taste is different to what you perceive, but this is the point. You can change it. So if you like your stevia, we can work on that. If you wanna change the flavor to make it more cinnamon forward, you know, we can do that. If you don't like so much lime flavor, you can drop the amount of lime oil. If you want more orange or you know, clove or whatever's working for you, you can increase those and you can just dial this in up and down. It's really cheap to make. You're looking at five cents a glass, lots of room to play with. I'll teach you how to make the caramel uh, type four in a future video. And then it becomes extremely affordable to play around with this. And you can spend like years perfecting your cola formula and you can. I don't see any reason why you can't make a better Coke or Pepsi is just going to take a little bit of effort and I'm gonna do a lot more of this. So I will give you all the hints that I have when I make this, but you know what? Straight up, this is a good formula. Uh, I am happy with it. I'll post it over on Patreon 
And that's about it. That's how you make Diet Cola. It is that simple. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.